So what I'm here doing is uh, building an exhaust manifold for a Nissan RD28. And the reason why is because if you have a look over here, I'm putting in a GT 2052V uh, turbo off a ZD30. So I'm getting a, um, a um, variable nozzle turbo to replace the standard wastegated turbo. Um, I did have uh, a J pipe on the existing manifold. Uh, this is the original manifold, and I had a J pipe coming up. Uh, there were issues with that though because of heat being up near the bonnet and a few other uh, issues there. It wasn't a good job. So I'm deciding what I'll do is build one from scratch for this turbo. So you see over here. Um, I've used a CAD program to uh, design the flanges and the flanges are here. Now, I've had them laser cut and um, they're 12 mil mild steel uh, plate that have been laser cut from, which is around about the thickness we've got here. So um, that's the first step. Uh, the second step was I got some um, square tube RHS uh, 5mm, 65 by 65 and uh, I've had the um, holes built in. So this is a collector and I've had the holes drilled in this. Um, with a manifold, these guys are the go, so these are steam pipe bins and um, if you use steam pipe in your manifold, they're, they're very stable, easy to work with, and they're, they're cheap and readily available. So uh, I've laid out on this steel bar to try and get a nice uh, flat surface. There's a bit of 10 mil steel bar, and uh, I've just marked them out where I'm going to put them. And um, then I'm just going to tack weld them in place, and then weld these runners onto them. Once they're welded on there and I'm happy they're, they're all good, I'll be putting this collector on there and um, then we go to the next step of working out exactly where the turbo outlet's going to sit on the manifold. So uh, it's welded together and um, I've just got to put the um, turbo port in now. I'm just going to put that between three and four. But um, yeah, a lot of the work's done. It took me about uh, three and a half hours to get to that point. Just uh, fitting the manifold up to the head. Checking for uh, clearances and so on with the uh, inlet. And it looks pretty good. Just got it uh, in place, I've done a couple of tack welds to get the position right and um, pretty well spot on, uh, clearances are there so I'll just finish off the welding. Just uh, finished off the, the weld around the uh, turbo port. Starting on the dump pipe for the exhaust. Uh, the turbo is in position and it's all welded up and um, I've got the reducer on there to go from the small turbo port out to a three inch dump pipe. Just built the dump pipe. Three inch and a six inch um, Brady thingy. Put the uh, flange on there. It's all done. Measured it up, tacked it, and fully welded it. 